Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so you know I've been doing these Disney princesses, the toddler size, and I've been doing them at 48 inches. Um, so that's four feet, and it's because my daughter is 47 inches. <laughs> so I thought it would be super cool. But today we're gonna do Belle, and I'm gonna do a different challenge. I am gonna make her at 48 inches, just in case you, you are making a set of them. So I will do that in a separate video. This video, I'm going to try to just do her as big as possible without any slicing of the actual colored pieces. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. And hopefully um, you can let me know if you have a better way of doing it, but this is how I go about figuring out how to make something as big as possible without any seams, okay? So let's first, um, I love these toddler versions because everything is broken up into sections like her face is one section then there's the neck area and then the dress is always in multiple pieces so if you think about it the way i do it is i look at what's the biggest piece either the widest or the longest and in this case it's it's a toss-up for me between the leg and the width of this um, skirt just the top part because the bottom part is in pieces as well as you know the little uh, drapey part so um, let's say we can do the legs at 11 inches okay so at 11 inches this is 11 this is another 11 that's 22 we're now at 33 we're now at 44 so you can see how when they're chopped up into pieces like that it's easy to make them big um, all right, so let's just try this out. Let's do uh, 40 inches just to see, okay? And I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> all right, and let's see how big the individual pieces are. So let's ungroup. Let's double check her face. So her face is nine by eight, let's say. Here's the leg, and I love this one, how funny so i bought this file it's by lemon company studios on etsy um all the other files everything was grouped by color so i couldn't just if you look at the panel right here the leg is separated from the face um all the skin pieces are separated which is awesome okay so the leg here is 11 inches technically we could go up to 11 and a half so let's see i forgot how much i what i did here 40. Let's see at 41 inches, how much that changes just the leg. So the leg is 11.3, it's still good. And then let's look at this skirt. Um, so the skirt, funny enough, that, so only the skin was separated. How funny, okay. And that's okay, so here's the yellow part. Um, let's go to contour and hide everything. And what we want is this big piece. So let's see how big that piece is. It's 11.3 by 5.6. So I think for Belle, 41 inches is as big as we're gonna do and everything else is going to be seamless. Only the black background is gonna have seams. And if you think about it, all that's left of the, back, the black background is um, just tiny bits. So let me go back to contour, um, click show all and it'll all appear again. So you're gonna have seams like right here, but only that much of the black is gonna be showing. It's, it's gonna be minimal. So she's gonna be amazing at 41. So that brings me to the next point. Do So if you were like, let's say you were set on doing at 44 inches, to me, 41 to 44, it's just a three inch difference but you're gonna have seams. Now, granted, I did them at 48 and they looked pretty seamless. So it just depends on how good you're gonna be able to make the seams. But if if it was a difference for me between seams and no seams or visible seams versus no seams, I would just do it at 41 inches um, because the seams really bother me. <laughs> but um, okay, so let's ungroup her. And uh, okay, so here's the pink. Now with the pink, I'm looking at the roses and the roses are like this middle one. It's one, two, three, four pieces here, another four here. Like that's too many pieces for me. I'm tempted 
to kind of somehow weld them all together. Like I like this rose, it's one piece. <laughs> that to me is super cool. Um, so I would, I feel like the center of attention is not going to be on the roses. So what I would probably do is make this middle piece. I would bring in a circle that connects all the pieces together. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I'll do that first right now. I'm going to bring in the circle. I'm going to keep all, and I'm going to zoom in so you can really see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's look at this first rose. What I'm tempted to do is make this piece right here just touch everything. I'm gonna leave all the ends, like it will still have its little cutlets, um, but this is what I would do. So let's bring this in. And I wanna make this circle just big enough so it's touching all three pieces, okay? So I think that looks like it's touching. I'm gonna grab it like this and weld it. So here's my rose. It's barely touching this, so I'm, I'm tempted to bring in another piece. But you see, to me, it still looks like a flower. And let's put, put it back in the picture. So to me, that rose right there, you can't tell me that you think it looks weird or that it looks out of place because if you didn't see the before picture this would just look like a little pink rose in the middle right there right except now it's one piece so instead of having uh, let's see this was tw instead of 13 pink pieces that you need to deal with for the roses it's now four pieces yeah i'll take that any day <laughs> okay so let's bring it back over here we're gonna zoom out i'm always so confused with that let's bring in another circle let's do the rest of these roses so that it's easier for us to manage okay um so let's duplicate these all right so this one bring it in and make it a little bit smaller i don't want to lose all the details but i just want to make it easy for myself so that that one will be good let's scroll down here make this a little bit smaller and let's get this in here and that's gonna look good and then i just want to strengthen this cut right here because i feel like it's probably going to um rip or something okay so that's gonna look good for me i'm gonna grab all of this and weld it Okay, so, oh, that one looks really big. So don't do it so big like that, but, you know, I think it's okay. Let's bring it back so you can see what I'm talking about. So it's going to look like that. I mean, to me, you're going to know what that's supposed to be. I would use pink glitter cardstock, something really shimmery and pretty. No one's going to be like, oh, that rose looks weird. <laughs> it's just going to be a pink flower or a bud, and there you have it, okay? Okay, so now let's separate the pieces though because you can't cut it like this. This is a 10 by 22 piece. So the only way you could cut it as is is if you had a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock and it's just not worth it. So let's bring in a square. I'm gonna make it big and we're going to just slice this out one piece at a time. So I'm gonna get this rose by itself. I'm gonna grab it like this and slice. So now you get rid of the slice results but see, now this rose is by itself. And the reason why we do this is so that you can um, be more efficient on the cutting mat. All of these, instead of now needing a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock, you only need maybe like this much of cardstock. And then the rest you can save for your next project. Um, I'm, I don't care about saving regular cardstock, but I do so many projects and cake toppers and things like that. And I like using my glitter cardstock and it's a little bit more expensive. So that's why I try to make it as efficient as possible because I do save my glitter cardstock. Okay, so you can see I'm just slicing my way through this whole pink piece, okay? So now these roses are together. I only have two pieces left. And usually with the mouth and the eyes, I just keep them together. So this could be two separate separated pieces, but um, with everything else being separated, it's okay that the lips stay together. 
So here's the lips and then, okay, here we go. Now when you're slicing, you see how I have all these cut pieces, but I don't see the pink poking through. So as long as the pink, oh, we don't even need to do it, it's the last piece. But if there was another piece, as long as the pink is completely covered by the square, you can slice it like that. Okay, so that's done. Let's look at what we have next. Here's the hair. Now the hair is 13 by 14. So this top piece of hair is actually two big pieces, right? So this is kind of cool. It's all connected. This right here is all connected. This little piece is by itself, but that's okay. I mean, it is, it is what it is. Um, so this is not bad. I'm gonna flip this square over and I'm gonna slice out this bottom piece first. Um, okay, didn't let me slice because I picked up too many pieces. So let me see if I can replicate that. Okay, so you can see that. And slicing is not available. I thought it looked weird. The eyes are actually a different brown and they're grouped together. So how I know that is because when I click on this, do you see how it's two sets of colors? And give me just one second here. Um, so just click on it and ungroup so that the eyes can move out of the way. Okay, so actually I'm gonna leave it like this, okay? Even though the eyes are right there, I'm gonna show you with my cursor, I'm only grabbing, oops, I'm only grabbing the brown and my square. Do you see that? So I can slice it even though the eyes are inside this area. So just make sure it just depends on what your cursor is picking up. Okay, so now this hair is gonna be hard to slice out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use contour, but let's just do the eyes real quick. Let's do this. So my point is you can, um, you can slice in a heavily trafficked area. <laughs> okay, so here's this piece. I'm gonna count this piece as this small triangle piece uh, with the, this side hair. So this is, I'm gonna separate it into two pieces. So when you use contour to separate pieces out, you need however many pieces you're gonna separate it into, you need that many copies. So this is gonna be two, I need to duplicate it. And then Let's go to contour and click hide all and it's gonna leave this long piece over here and I also want this triangle. So I'm just gonna click it to select it. And so here's my hair with that little piece, okay? And then now on this one, I wanna get rid of what I already have over there. So I'm gonna click contour and you can either select on the picture so I don't want that and I don't want this triangle. So all that's left you can see is this piece. And there you have it. Okay, so that's the brown. Okay, so the green is in a lot of pieces, right? Do I still have my square? I don't think I do. So let's bring in a square and separate out all those pieces because this is nine by 11. You need a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock to cut this. It's kind of crazy. So let's just go little by little and slice it out. And you see how I'm slicing in traffic? <laughs> as long as your cursor is only picking up two items, you are good. So this is really close to the hair, but see, this is enough to pick that up and I'm gonna like, oh, no, it isn't. There we go. Okay, and this one I'm gonna just group together like this. So I'm gonna grab it this way and slice. Okay, now we gotta get rid of all the slice results. All these gray pieces we don't need. And just delete it, delete this, and now I think everything is separated, okay. So when we go cut this, you could probably get this all in a, I don't know, a three by three piece of cardstock, which maybe you can even find scrap paper for that. Okay. Um, we know all the skin pieces. Okay, so the fingers right here, if it were me, I would weld these three pieces together so that it's not three separated pieces, but it's up to you. And you saw how I welded the roses, so that's, you know, if you wanted to do that. But this hand is nice because it's all one piece. Here are the legs. The legs are all good. Yep. This, okay. 
Now the face. So the face, what I want to do is I want to make a copy of this. And on this one, I'm going to go to contour, hide all, and then I'm going to make it black. Change the color here to black because, and do you see how this is not connected? That's why I wasn't able to contour out this eye. So we're gonna fix that right now. But the reason why you want this is because if there are any seams running through the eyes, eyebrow or mouth, you can now cover it because this will go in between your black background and your top face. So let me bring this to the front, arrange, send to the front. This is gonna sit on like this. So if you had a seam right here, it's no longer a seam. So it's really important to do that. But let's make sure that's what you're gonna do, how you can enclose this, is we're gonna go to shapes, bring in a circle, and put it close enough just to get the edge like that, okay? And then grab these two pieces and weld. And now you have a pretty good piece, I think. So let's bring this to the front. Ta-da, right? It's it's pretty, it's a pretty good idea. <laughs> okay, so here's our yellow. Our yellow is all grouped together, so we're gonna need to slice it out. But you see how the dress is all pretty close together. So let's see, what do we have here? Um, all right, so let's slice out these two pieces and see what the dress looks like and the shoes. So let's bring in a square, and then I'm gonna zoom out for a second. Okay, let's, whoa. Let's bring this over and this over. Let's do the shoe. Okay, grab that, slice it. And you know what, let me save this while I remember. So this is Bell, uh, Bell Toddler at 41 inches. Okay. Oh. Um, okay, whatever. No. No, I don't want to update now. No. What just happened? Okay, let me learn more and see. Oh, no, no. What just happened to me here? Um. Okay. No. Oh my goodness. Let me see if it's gonna be a quick update. It looks like it might be a quick update. So I'll just talk to you right now. So I went to Michael's today. I'm gonna to look it up online so that you can see what it looks like. But for the skin, everyone asked me about the, the skin paper. Um, it is from Michael's. The brand is Craft Smith, one word and it's called the Blush Romance Pad. It's the thick 12 by 12 pads that are usually $20. Uh, right now it's on sale, you buy one, you get two free. So while that is a decent deal, I mean, it's better than um, 20 bucks, but I've gotten it as low as like 450 ish. So when it's $4, $5, that's when I will stock up on it. Um, oh, no, you didn't. You didn't save it at all. Okay. Can I still post this video? And then I'm going to do bell bigger and then that way show you how to do the black background <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it okay I'm sorry give me the hate comments but we did such good work up until then all right so tell me your comments give me your questions I'm gonna stop now and record bell at 48 inches and then you can see how I did the background I think you got the gist of everything up until then. The back, the black background, I, I do it on every character, except for when I have a computer issue. That's the only time I don't do it, okay? So, um, sorry, but not sorry. 
<laughs> and then if you have a special request, let me know too, okay? All right, I'll see you in just a little bit. Thanks, guys. Not yet, Shar. Now I'm stopping. <laughs>